number in this session 18 we are going to study about how a circle behaves and we are going to study whether a point which is given is inside the circle or outside the circle or on the circle so first let us recollect our old idea about equation of circle right this is a circle you know the center is denoted by z naught and let us consider its radius as r and let the point on the circumference of the circle be z as you know very well this is a moving point it moves with a geometric condition that is distance between these two points that is center and the moving point should be always equal to a particular constant that is called by the name radius r in this way we are getting a circle right so equation of circle is very simple the condition says distance between these two points should be always equal to r so modulus of z minus z naught is equal to r is the equation of circle right so you know this idea using this we are going to discuss about points which are inside the circle outside the circle and on the circle right let us consider two points let the first one be z1 and let the next one be z2 and you know the distance between these two points is nothing but modulus of z1 minus z2 right now let us consider a graph with a circle right let this be our x-axis and let this be our y-axis that is real axis and imaginary axis this is our center and let the radius be r and we are considering three points one is b which is inside the circle and another one is c which is outside the circle and another one is d which is on the circle and here we have considered this point a as our center right so we have to discuss we have to find whether a given point is inside the circle or outside the circle or on the circumference of the circle right let us consider the center as z naught now let us consider this point which is inside the circle as z right if you see this distance surely this distance will be lesser than the radius so if a point is inside the circle surely the distance between the center and the point will be less than the radius so you know distance between these two points is nothing but modulus of z minus z naught that value will be less than this r value so the first condition for a point to be inside the circle is very simple that is modulus of z minus z naught is less than r the z point is the given point and z naught is center of the circle and r is the radius of the circle now let us consider a point which is on the circle right if the point is on the circumference of the circle then this is your radius so if the radius is r then this is also r so modulus of z minus z naught will be equal to r so now we are considering this point as z this is on the circumference of the circle and if you find distance between these two points that is modulus of z minus z naught and that will be equal to r because this is also radius right so if a point is on the circumference of the circle modulus of z minus z naught is equal to r in the same way if a point is outside the circle 
let this point be z then surely the distance from the center to this point will be greater than the length of radius so the distance between these two is nothing but modulus of z minus z not and this will be greater than r so if modulus of z minus z not value is determined and if we know the radius value then we can simply say whether the point is inside the circle or outside the circle or on the circle right so in summary if a point is inside the circle then modulus of z minus z not that is distance between the center and the point will be less than the radius if the point is on the circle then distance between center and the point will be equal to that radius and if the point is outside the circle then distance from the point which is outside the circle and the center of the circle will be greater than the radius using these clues we are going to solve a problem right now let us consider a equation of a circle whose center is 3 plus 2i and radius is 5 units right you know equation of circle is modulus of z minus z not is equal to r here z is variable so z should be kept as it is and z not is nothing but center of the circle z not is nothing but center of the circle and radius is 5 so if you apply all these things we'll get the equation like this so this is equation general equation of the given circle this is the equation of the given circle now let us draw this circle and let us consider a point 2 minus i like that something uh, and let us check whether the point is inside the circle or not right if you see this diagram the radius is 5 and the center is this that is 3 plus 2i on real axis 3 on imaginary axis 2 so center is 3 comma 2 and the radius is 5 units and we have taken a point inside the circle so the circle is uh, if we consider it is on real axis by 2 and on imaginary axis minus 1 so this is 2 minus i so from the diagram it is very well clear the point is inside the circle right so 2 minus i is inside the circle now we have to prove by picture it is very clear the point is inside the circle now we have to prove by mathematics formula using complex numbers techniques the point is inside the circle because we are not going to draw any circle while doing the problems so how to prove this as I told you it is very simple if we know the center that is is at naught and the given point we can find it very easily the distance between these two points if the distance between these two point is lesser than the radius it is inside if the distance between these two points is equal to the radius then it is on if the distance between these two points is greater than that is greater in the sense that is greater than the radius then the point will be outside so simply let's try to find distance between these two points so let us consider is it not we know that as 3 plus 2 i and here the radius is 5 let us try to find is it minus is it not here is it is equal to 2 minus i is it is nothing but any point that they are giving to us right don't confuse this is it with this is it here the z stands for point which is on the circle right don't confuse with this this is entirely different this is to find just equation of circle right here we are they are giving us some point that point may be on the circle or inside the circle or outside the circle whatever it may be so we are considering the point that is given by them as z and let us substitute it in this equation that is modulus of z minus z naught that is if you get modulus of z minus z naught that is modulus of 
instead of z2 minus i and instead of z0, the center that is 3 plus 2i. If we simplify this, that is modulus of 2 minus i minus 3 minus 2i. And if we collect real parts together, that is 2 minus 3 minus 1, and imaginary parts together, minus i minus 2i minus 3i. If we find modulus to this, that is square root of real part square plus imaginary part square, that is minus 1 the whole square plus minus 3 the whole square, our answer will be equal to root 10. Root 10 is nothing but 3 point something. But the radius is 5 units. So, the distance between the center and the point given by them is 3 point something. That is lesser than the radius 5 units. So, surely the point will be inside the circle. Right. Since modulus of z minus z naught is less than radius, we can say the point 2 minus i is inside the circle. So, if you want to find the given point is inside the circle or outside the circle or on the circle, we have to consider the given point as z and center of the circle as z0. We have to consider the given point as z and center of the circle as z0. And we have to find distance between the center and the given point. And we have to find the distance between them. If the distance is lesser than the radius, if the distance is lesser than the radius, the point is inside. If the distance is equal to the radius, the point is on the circumference of the circle. If the distance is greater than the radius, then the point will be outside the circle. I hope so. You would have understood this. It is very, very simple concept. You can train so many problems from your own textbook with some examples or some with exercises. Thank you.